Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Harry Views back with another video and we're now just five days away from the release of the first beta of iOS 18, which is expected to be a big update, probably the biggest in years on iOS, changing a lot of things and a lot of updates to iOS that we maybe not even expected Apple to ever do. So we have heard a lot of rumors, a lot of reports regarding the new features and changes that are coming to the new iOS 18. And by now we have a collection of everything new that is coming most of them are of course from Mark Grumman who is a very trusted source when it comes to Apple related stuff so in this video we're going to take a look at all these things and see what to expect from the new iOS 18 and first of all we're starting with some great news now the latest reports claim that iOS 18 will support all the devices that currently iOS 17 does support including the iPhone 11 series, and of course, the 10s, 10s Max, of course, the iPhone XR, the iPhone SE second and third generation. And this is great news, even though probably a lot of these devices won't have a ton of features that are coming to iOS 18, they will be missing a few features. But of course, it's always great to have iOS 18 on those older devices. Now, as far as the release date goes, you probably know by now, June 10th will be the day that Apple releases the first dev beta of iOS 18. And you should expect it to come probably an hour and a half to two hours after the event that Apple will hold at the start of WWDC 2024. The event starts at 10 a.m. Pacific time and then probably after a couple of hours you will be able to install iOS 18 beta 1 on your iPhone. To install it will be as simple as installing an iOS 17 beta. Simply head on to settings, general, software update. Right here we will have the beta updates you will see these because iOS 17 is still up, of course, but you will also see here an option for iOS 18 dev beta, but you won't see the public beta because that will come later, probably somewhere to mid to the end of July. You should see also a public beta coming out to the public testers, but still, if you want to, you will be able to install the dev beta on day one on your iPhone. So here are some of the main changes that are coming to iOS 18. First of all, it will be the home screen. There will be a ton of changes on the home screen, one of them being the ability to place your app icons anywhere you want on the home screen. Currently, if I try to place an icon like down here, it will readjust itself right there. But with iOS 18, you will be able now to just place the icons anywhere you want. And also, iOS 18 will give you the option to change the color of the icons on the home screen. Let's say you want to do all the social apps with one color, you want to do all, let's say, the photo editing apps with one color and things like that. So probably having different categories of apps with different colors, that should be something that can be done, of course, through the settings app. The control center is also getting an update with iOS 18. And according to Grumman, we can expect an updated interface for the control center, a revamped music widget improved of course with iOS 18 and also improved controls for the home kit on your control center. That of course a change that has been reported for a long time but it was never reported by Mark Grumman so that's why we believe that this year is actually happening. There will be changes to the notifications as well. We will have AI generated summaries for notifications. So that's of course a part of the AI update that Apple is bringing to iOS with iOS 18. So AI will be pretty much everywhere on iOS 18 and it should be great. And in this including of course your notifications, you will be able to get like a summary of your notifications which should actually be very, very useful. Also improvements are coming to the spotlight. It will be more intelligent in search, probably of course, with the utilization of AI and also it will have improved sorting. Now, of course, one of the biggest things where AI will play a huge role on iOS 18 will be Siri. Siri on iOS 18 will be powered by AI and it will basically do much more. And also with Siri on iOS 18, you will get 
in app control. So you, you probably know if you have used Siri, if you use it every day, that within apps, Siri is basically useless. Now you will be able to also use it within apps. There will be also a new interface for the settings app. This is one of the apps that is getting the biggest update on iOS 18 and also improved search for the settings app. Improvements, AI improvements are also coming to the Photos app. The Photos app will now have a new interface with iOS 18 and also it will have an AI powered photo retouching feature, basically allowing you to actually edit your photos using AI. AI is also coming to Safari. With Safari, you will be able to use AI on your searches, which would help a lot and of course make the results and everything much, much better. And also Safari will be able to summarize your websites. On the Maps app, we're looking to get now new custom routes. So currently you have only the routes that are suggested by Apple. Now you will be able to actually create your own. There will be also suggested replies to the mail app and also some redesign on the mail app as well. And we're also getting a ton of new features for the iMessage app. RCS support of course is coming to iOS 18. We will have per word effects. You know that on the messages app currently you can add effects to the whole message. Now you can do that per word. Also suggested replies, custom emojis, messages, recaps, and also new tab back icons are coming to the iMessage app with iOS 18. Another app that is getting a big update on iOS 18 is the Notes app. I really like the Notes app on iOS and this is the my to go app when I use when I'm just trying to add a note. I always use the stock app of iOS It's actually pretty good. But with iOS 18, it will be much, much better. It will have a new built in recording tool, audio transcriptions and also the ability to display math notion so that will be great an update to the mail to the notes app which we have actually been waiting for a long time there will also be an update to the music app by now we know that there will be auto generated playlists and also smarter song transitions these probably powered of course by ai which is also coming to the news app also the news app is getting new AI features, which of course will generate news articles and also summaries for you. Now, one app that hasn't been updated in years is the calculator app. And by the way, it is finally coming to iPad as well. I don't know why it took Apple so long to do this, but the calculator app is also coming to the iPad. But with iOS 18, the new calculator app will get a bunch of new features, including a sidebar that will list your recent calculation an improved interface for converting units. You will finally be able to convert units on the calculator app. And also it has an integration with the notes app. And of course, as I said, finally, it is coming to the iPad with all these cool new features. The magnifier app is also getting updates on iOS 18. It will offer a new reader mode and the option to easily launch the tech mode by using now the action button on the iPhone 15 Pros and of course the new iPhone 16s that will be released later this year. There will also be an update for vocal shortcuts. Basically it's something that will actually allow you to launch different actions, do different tasks simply by using your voice. And of course, just a shortcut that you create with your voice. That will be amazing. And also we have a few updates that we know of that are coming to CarPlay. One of them being sound recognition and also new accessibility features are coming to the new CarPlay with iOS 18. So last but not least, should you install iOS 18 or not on your device? Now, of course, this being beta one and very easy to install as Apple has actually allowed all of us to just go ahead and go to the software update and install this update as all the other betas should you install it or not well my suggestion is that if you have only one device the device that you actually use on daily basis just wait at least for beta 2. beta 1 and all these new features that are coming probably it will have quite a few problems and most likely it will have bad battery life. So I suggest that you wait a bit. 
at least for beta 2 or maybe even wait for the public beta to be released before installing iOS 18 on your device. So that's basically it for this video guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to see more iOS 18 videos, make sure to subscribe, leave a like on this one and I'll see you on the next video.